Right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTube, wherever you are, wherever you're listening and or watching this. My name is Rosh, and uh, the this is a series that I'm putting together of some Axe FX3 tutorials on how to build some presets. A little about me. I'm a guitar player and a guitar tech out here in the LA area. Some of my clients include Def Leppard, Melissa Etheridge, Perfect Circle, Steve Vai, Dweezil Zappa. So uh, I've programmed a lot of fractal rigs for a lot of different people. And I wanted to give back to the fractal community and share some of my approaches on how to build presets. So uh, I'm going to be covering um, a lot of the basics in the early part of this series. And then as I progress, uh, get into more advanced topics. So if you are interested in watching this and you want me to cover something, some of my approaches, I would be more than happy to in the future. You can also reach me on the forum at Rosh Roslin. So uh, this episode, this is episode uh, five, I believe. Um, we're going to cover non-master volume dirty amps. So uh, these are my favorite type of amps, but there's a lot of trickiness sometimes that um, maybe newer users of the Axe FX, um run into. So uh, first what we're going to do is clear out this preset. And let's do a quick build once it's ready. Cool, so input, output, amp and a cap. So um, the classic amp that is a non-master volume amp that's a dirty amp is uh, the Marshall Plexi. So let's start with that. So again, when I'm building my distorted sounds, um, I generally start with a cab block first. So uh, let's do like a 412 Marshall kind of thing. And let's use, I think in the last video I used the 70s greenback. So I generally like to pair the amp with a some type of dynamic mic, usually the SM57, and then some type of ribbon mic, usually the Royer 121. Oops. The wrong button there. All right, so 412, and then we're going to look for the R121. All right, cool. And then just make sure that these are even. And then we're going to go to this section, and I usually low cut around 80 to 100, depending on the amp. As the gain gets higher, um, I actually move the low cut higher as well. So, and then I usually use 8500 here. So, oops, that it should be 8500. Okay. And if it's too bright, you can um, bring this down, or if it's too dark, you can bring it up. So, all right, and let's pick the Marshall Plexi. So this is in the Plexi. Okay, so let's use the high input Marshall. This is kind of like the classic Marshall. Let's reset this channel. Okay, so these are the stock settings um, with this amp using this cabinet. So. so one of the things to consider is that since there's no master volume on the real amp, if you ever play a Marshall Plexi, there's just a volume knob. This is The drive knob is generally analogous to the volume knobs that are on non-master volume amps. So amps like the Plexi, Marshall, like a lot of the Marshall amps, as well as the Voxes and a lot of the Fenders, there's no master volume. So if you're not used to playing these type of amps, just remember that this is going to affect how much gain you want. And then use this level knob, which is digital level, to just bring the volume to where you want it. So let's get the tone kind of right. So let's maybe around here, we're going for like kind of a general rock tone. OK, cool. And then let's, uh, it seems pretty good right there. Maybe we can go to a negative 11. OK, just a little louder. So now one of the things that you hear is that uh, for amps like this, um, the low end is really fluffy. So if I try to palm mute really fast, it's really hard. The response is kind of not good. So let's lower the bass. There we go. And uh, again, one of the keys to dialing in a good tone is don't dial in with your eyes, use your ears. So what, I'm, what I generally do is I kind of chug on the low end and I just go through a couple open chords um, and then maybe play a lick or two and just see how the tone shapes up. For amps like this, um, also cranking the volume up, this would be super loud in like the real context of an amp because remember it's a 100 watt amp cranking into eight That'd be pretty loud in the real life. But as you crank these amps up, they generally start to get darker as they distort more. So this amp is kind of dark right now. So I'm going to actually just crank the treble a little bit. And again,
again, we're going for like a rock s sound. So I'm not afraid to get too bright, a little brighter than I want because I want the tone to poke through. Um, in future lessons or future videos, I'll cover like a lead sound. And what you would generally do with an amp like this is use like some type of pedal to take off that, that treble. So if that's too bright for you, use a pedal to kind of darken it up, but keep the tone the same. So that's pretty good right there. Um, let's add a reverb just so we can add a little bit of flavor to it. Uh, let's use, I don't know, just... I'll cover something in the future for this, but let's use like a medium, medium room. And then the settings that I use is a 3dB and 50% mix. Um, this is so that the reverb is unity when it's turned off, so you don't notice a difference in volume when you turn the reverb off. And then the input gain is how much of the reverb you want. So let's get a decent trail. And then we can crank this if you need a little more reverb. Pretty good. And then uh, amps, non-master volume amps like this are really great for routing the volume knob. So here's the bridge pickup with the volume knob rolled off for a clean sound. And if I dig in with the bridge pickup. clean so these amps are super versatile if you use your volume knob so that's a real basic way to just kind of dial in an amp like this so let's try like maybe something like a vox so the cool thing is uh, with voxes it's kind of the same approach um, you know Foo Fighters and uh, bands like that they use uh, vox amps as well to get some of their crunch and uh, rhythm guitar sounds. So let's use the top boost. This time it's a Vox, so let's make sure we're using like a 212 Class A. And again, I use the same type of combination with all my dirty tones, and then I adjust if I need to. So let's use Class A with a 57, and then we want a ribbon mic for the second tone. Class A with a 121. Okay, cool. So that's probably going to be pretty good. Uh, go to the preamp, make sure around 80, that's my starting point, 8500. And here we go, stock settings. Obviously the volume's a lot lower. Tone's pretty good. So let's get a little bit more distortion, distortion out of that. And then uh, we're definitely going to need to crank the level up. So, okay, so probably here. Okay, so an amp like this, just like the Marshall, it, it's pretty flubby in the low end. So we're going to drop the bass. And it's pretty dark, too. Um, so again, we're going to crank the treble. And in an amp like the Vox, uh, the high cut actually functions as a reverse presence. So the lower you bring this, the brighter the amp gets. So just like anything else, um, I don't dial in with my eyes. I dial in with my ears. And I usually crank, uh, turn the knobs to their extremes to hear exactly what the amp, how the amp reacts at this volume. So at different volume levels, um, these two knobs start doing a different interaction with the drive knob. So you want to keep that in mind. The louder the amp gets, the less these, um, the bass, middle, and treble knobs start to do. So that's why I'm, you can turn them even higher when the volume's up. And then you just use the level knob to get the amp loud enough to where you need it. <laughs> Amp's still pretty dark, so what we're going to do is let's bring down the level of the ribbon mic so the 57 pokes through. Pretty good right there. And again, we're going to kind of go in for like a rhythm sound. I'll go over lead sounds in a future... Uh, episode feature tutorial. So now with the Vox and the Marshall, we, we got pretty decent like rock rhythm guitar tones. Um, 
And again, it's all about the non-master volume stuff. So as you, you turn the amp up, just keep in mind that it interacts with these two depending on the amp. So don't be afraid to just crank these up. As you can see, the high cut is at zero right now, and it's still not quite uh, bright enough for where I want it. So yeah, so I would just definitely just keep bringing this down until I get to a good tone. Maybe even cranking the treble up even more. So, yep, that's a pretty decent tone for the Vox. If I want something brighter, I'd probably use a brighter amp, even though Voxes are definitely known for being bright amps. But at this volume with the top boost, um, that's kind of where you're, that's kind of where it's going to go. So, uh, yeah, that's a probably a good stop in place for this tutorial. So this is, again, one of my approaches for the non-master volume amps uh, for dirty sound. So if you have any other questions or any other topics you'd like me to cover, I would be more than happy to do so in the future. In the meantime, take care, and I'll see you at the next episode.